Hey guys, today I'm going to go over some new tooling and these new terminals that came out from Racepec. Uh, Joel had these made and uh, extensively tested and they're fantastic. But I figured I'd go over kind of what you need to make it work and um, why you should buy them. So first off, these terminals are made for these connectors, okay? So the AMP Super Seal 1.0, um, Holly uses them, uh, so does Motec, and um, a couple other companies use these, these connectors, so for ECU terminals. So the, 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 the terminal that you had to use before were these, and they left a lot to be desired. Um, so this terminal required to crimp Let's get a black background here. It required you to crimp um, right here where the conductor sits. Hang on, let me get a, a little poker here. It required you to crimp this and this separately, okay? So this right here is for the conductor. This right here was to wrap around the jacket. So the crimper that has been out for a long time for these is this, it's uh, made by TE. Um, this thing is a piece of garbage and it's expensive and I hate it. So if you have one of these, you I'm sure share my frustration. So these things were crap. Um, people used other crimpers in their place and now Joel's got a new solution. So if you don't want to go to the solid barrel terminals, and if you don't understand what I mean by solid barrel, this is an open barrel, like I just showed you, right? That's an open barrel. And then your Deutsch stuff, well, your good Deutsch stuff, and these new terminals are closed barrel, right? They're solid barrel. So it's kind of hard to see because they're tiny, but um, these are solid barrel. So what that means is the wire <clears throat> with an open barrel sits here like this, again, kind of hard to see, but it sits here like this, and then you crimp the conductor and then the jacket. With a closed barrel terminal, you have, you strip it to length and you insert it. It's hard to see again, but there's an inspection hole in here. Let's see if we can zoom here. Hmm, not really. Okay, well that looks like crap too, but anyway, there's a little inspection hole here, so you can see that if you got your, you know, your conductor stripped far enough, uh, just like a, a Deutsch terminal, right? So an Auto Sport or a, um, a standard uh, DTM, DTP, or uh, DT series connector uses a size 12, 16, or 20 contact. So these new solid barrel contacts use the same uh, functionality as the Deutsch stuff, right? So if you're used to using Deutsch stuff. You just need to switch over to these because these are fantastic. The issue, again, with this crimper before has been it's extremely cumbersome and it's a pain in the ass. So before these were released, okay, Joel had a jaw set. When I say Joel, I mean race spec. Um, Joel had a jaw set made for the Rensteg Pew 12 crimper frame and... Uh, what it does is it crimps both the jacket and conductor at the same time, and it actually alleviates the main problem with those those blue and orange ones, which is trying to hold everything all at once. It's got a little little clamp there to hold her. So uh, these are really nice too. So if you don't want to get into the solid barrel stuff, I highly recommend picking up one of these. Uh, it takes a little bit getting used to, but once you get used to it, it is a lot more efficient and it's the right crimp. So you don't have to be concerned with, um, you know, did you use your uncle's cousin's hammer and a chisel the right way or not? Use the right tool and you'll get the right crimp. So these work really good for, uh, for your open barrel terminals. If you're like me, you've got a couple 10,000 of these and um, it's a tough pill to swallow to just throw them away. So I will be using a lot of these like I've been 
and uh, we'll probably wind up blowing out and selling a lot of them too, uh, and then be switching over to all the solid barrel terminals. So this is the focus of this video. So we've gone over the new crimper from race spec for the open barrel stuff. Now we get into the solid barrel stuff. So uh, your, your crimpers are gonna change, okay? So if you've already been crimping a lot of Deutsch stuff, you probably have a DMC AFM8 or maybe you have an AF8. Um, this is for your size 12, 16, and 20 contacts. This has different positioners, but it does not go bigger than a size 20 contact. This is used for a lot of auto sports stuff, uh, as well as size 20 contacts for Deutsch DTM connectors. You can't use this. So old, old trusty can't be used. So you have to buy a new one, which is an MH860. So this is again made by DMC. Um, so it's the same quality that you're used to, you know, the best stuff in the business. And uh, Ray Spec, the guys who were at Ray Spec, Joel, they got a positioner made, okay? So this is a positioner. So you can remove the positioner and you can swap positioners out to uh, for different terminals. So the way this works is you would flip it over, you got a hole, right? So you want to take your terminal and make sure that you've got the right side facing up and you drop it in. And now we know that it's going to get crimped at the right spot, right? So it's, it's positioned in the correct spot uh, so that when the indents come in, and as you can see here, it might be hard to see, but there you go. As the indents come in, they don't move up and down, so that's what the positioner is there for, okay? So it's to land the contact in the correct position, that's why it's called a positioner, for those indents to crimp the terminal. So <clears throat> you, if you already have an MH860, awesome. Um, all you need to do is buy the positioner. The positioner is in RS-SS 1.0. So race spec, Super Seal 1.0. They're on Joel's site. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for all of this stuff, including these crimpers as well. Because if you don't want to switch over to these right away, uh, these are definitely worth buying. So um, I'll put a link to all this stuff. The other cool thing about the MH860 is <clears throat> in the past, we would have to use one of these, the AF8. And I'm six foot three, 280 pounds, and I have a really large hand. And I will say that this is rather cumbersome to use in uh, inside of a, uh, you know, even on the bench, it's, it's, it's cumbersome to use. So the, this has been kind of a, a pain to use, but now with an MH860, we can do size 16 Deutsch contacts with a different positioner. So we change out the positioner and this positioner is an 86-2. Uh, again, this is on Joel's site, you can buy them. And you just turn it, lock it in place. There you go. And, um, and now, you can, now you can crimp size 16 Deutsch contacts with your small MH860 crimper. So this has gotten already gotten quite a workout um, crimping size 16 contacts, and it's been fantastic. I, I, I prefer using this over using this so uh but not but now when you go to a size 12 contact you're still gonna need one of these so basically just buy everything you know but uh but if you're if you're doing a lot of uh, uh of ecu pins the beauty and benefit of these is it's crimped right every single time uh it is it's located in the right spot in the terminal there's never a concern they slide in and out of the, t the, the connectors really easy. Uh, you know, I'm sure if you've, you know, screwed one of these up before and tried to shove it into the ECU, um, it's a pain in the ass to do. So this is a great combination if you are doing um, a lot of harnesses or if you are just kind of getting into it and don't know what tools to buy. Um, something else I'm going to point out. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just mine or if Joel just made this happen or what, and it may seem dumb. But I really like that the label is straight up and down. 
so that I can see it when it's laying like this, where all the, the standard DMC um, positioners are sideways, right? So it doesn't matter how many times you move it, it's always gonna land it sideways. So I don't know, it's always bothered me, but um, maybe Joel is also bothered by that and that's why he decided to turn the sticker 90 degrees, but uh, that was kind of important to me. So anyway, hopefully uh, this answered your questions about the um, these terminals, these crimpers, these crimpers, all this crap. So anyway, click on the link below, buy a bunch of stuff. See ya.